Hey everyone, let's unbox the Winter Sports Park by Lego City. This is set number 60366, contains 1,045 bricks, retails for $119.99, and this set was provided to me by the Lego Group for early review. And it looks like we may get some interesting pieces in there, from what I can tell. And here's the back of the box. Oh, there's more indication of some interesting pieces. Well, the box cutter hasn't had a meal, so we're going to go ahead and feed it. And of course, can't get the tape undone there. And we're going to see how this is broken down. Okay, packed pretty tight. <laughs> okay, nothing else in the carton. Okay, let's start with the manuals first. I like these. Now this one here, unfortunately, is probably glued. So that means I gotta stick the old finger in there and slowly peel this thing up, because I saved these. Matter of fact, I used one of these to put my taxes in. <laughs> they work pretty good for that. And there we go. There's nothing else in there. Okay. So, I'm hoping there's no stickers, but that answered my question, and yikes, that's really a beat to crap. Well, I'll have to flatten that out somehow. And we get three manuals, two bound and one stapled. Okay, does it tell us how the build's broken down here? No, it starts with bag one. And I'll set that off to the side. I'm hoping this doesn't have like multiple bag threes and stuff like that. So, well, this is in uh, medium nook. I wish those were in uh, sand yellow. I'll well, take a look at those in a bit. We got a three, a five, four, three, four, five. There's a one. I'll keep that off to the side there. <laughs> Ten. Hey, it looks like everything is individual here. Seven, six. Yeah, it looks like every. Oh, well, that maybe was a nine. This is a six. All right, that's not too bad. Well, we're going to take a look at the miscellaneous bag first. Now, I'm always after larger pieces like this. Watch my campground mock, you know why. And. I'm hoping Lego brings these out in different colors because these are sturdier than just using one of these. So it's like we get a couple of these 8 by 16 by third, 2 thirds plates. Not too bad. I'm starting to see more black 8 by 16 plates. We also get these in white. Oh, there's another one in here too. And then we got an 8 by 8. That's pretty much it for the miscellaneous bag. Let's have a peek at bag one and see what we got in there. It looks like we got tree parts. I can always use some tree parts. If you watch the campground build, you obviously know I can always use those. Let's start with those bags there first. Plenty of black and brown pieces. Uh, a 1x16 brick and black. That's rare for me. And... 2x4x4 four by four by four half round wall element. I also got one of these window frames. Now I wonder how bad the, the transparent pieces are scratched up in here. Well, that's, I'm kind of scared to look. This one's not too bad. Okay. And yes, I'm nitpicking on that too. This one's got some pits in it. And that's not bad. But Jay, why are you being picky for? Yeah. Ooh, I like these. This is like a 3x3x2 three by three by wall element. You get two of them. I wish Lego would bring these out in different sizes. They have the one buys, but now they're bringing these out. That'd make a great piece for a lookout tower, even a windshield. And then we got some skis right here. And 
a, a helmet with a wig attached to it. And we got the pants that probably belongs to that helmet. And then here's the torso. Not too bad. And some three by three quarter round plates. There's another torso in there. I like that print work. And another one of these pieces with the helmet. And dark blue or no black flat tiles. There's some one by ten reddish brown plates. And some one by three by three corner plates. And I do like this coral snowboard really cool you also get a brick separator too so one by two by five column bricks two by four flat tiles and stuff and i noticed with the sticker sheet there wasn't a whole lot of stickers so i'm hoping that's the case and then we have a um a two by four by six frame these are pretty good especially if you're doing snot and you want to add siding next to your your doors there you go and we also got some of these in medium nougat. I always can use medium nougat for making uh, the base for campgrounds. We've got another set of legs, dark brown profile brick, and some quarter round two by two corner bricks, and more black bricks, two by two bricks, some of these little arch pieces. And yeah, not too bad. It's got some neat parts in there. I saw, I saw this and I thought there was a lot of tree pieces in here, but apparently there's not. Now I may need to get a few of these right here, is some of these sand green leaf pieces. Great for making spruce trees for wintertime. Gives it that little bit of the frost look. And I've been seeing these leaf pieces come in a lot of these new sets here. And yeah, this is not too terribly bad. For making like potted plants and stuff or ferns or something we got to get some more of those and then we got a head here with the goggles oh single-sided and some metallic silver candles or yeah that's what they are and one of these hammers that they use for the ice climbing also metallic silver and then in addition, you got some 1x2 flat tiles in medium nougat. A 2x2x2 two by two by two thirds plate with two studs on one side. And there is something printed here. Oh, it's an acorn. Where were those when I was doing the campground? Those have been perfect for the squirrels. Well, there's only two. Wow, Lego being greedy with those. You could have gave me 100 in there. I'd have been happy with that. We get plenty of these little hammers. <laughs> And studs, and there's one of these dark as their cameras. I've been seeing those a lot lately. We also got some poles for the skis. Not too terribly bad. And some 1x2 plates with an upwards stick. And we got black binoculars. Better than those gray ones that I've always been using. And 1x3 black flat tile. So yeah, uh, I mean that has some pretty interesting pieces that I could have... I could have used for my mock, but well, now I have them. Now I know I can possibly order those in the future and put those in my collection. We got a little backpack here. I like these. Great for backcountry camping. And some 1x4 plates with the two studs. And yes, for those who don't know, I like camping and I love the outdoors. There's a single sided minifigure head. Some sand yellow profile bricks with single groove or brick bricks. And it's a cell phone, but it's got a credit card on it. Unless it's meant to be some kind of a credit card scanning machine. <laughs> oh, look, I got a squirrel that's probably for the acorns. Well, I got, I got a bunch of those. And a metallic silver kind of a holder that takes a 3.2 stick. We got some 3.2 sticks here that I can't pick up. And some tiles, one by four plates, two by two plates with two studs, and a two by two brick. Yeah, so far, this set's starting to look pretty fun. We've only just been going through bag one. Let's have a look at bag two and see what we have in here. 
bags within bags. You think I'd be used to that by now, and there's some pieces stuck in there. Boy, you just don't want to come out of that. <laughs> okay, so we got some more of these 2x4x6 door frames. And some more transparent pieces. Oh, this one's got a divider in the middle. That would have been great for like a window or something, but it's got the divider in it. And here we got a door. So far, Lego, it's not as scratched as no, there's a little ding right there. Spoke too soon. Yeah, some of these are pitted though. Lego, what'd you do? Put these through a sandblaster? Like this one's in pristine condition. I could see right through that. I like those. These would make great like for water running down something too, and gives it some depth. I like these. Okay, now we got through all the transparent blue stuff. And yeah, this caught my eye right here, a little helmet. Something you'd see like from motocross. Well, we obviously know where this is going to go because there's the uh, motorcycle frame. Plenty of column bricks. 1x2x5 and, oh, and then a 1x1x5 and there's the pants. There's the torso. That's like coral with a Nice print for like a jacket. Cool. So two by six plates and medium narrow tires. Oh, here's another torso right here. This one's just, this one's that bright neon yellow with paint splattered on it. Corner bricks. Some 45 degree slopes. There's some nice lime green pants. She's probably the motocross driver, single-sided head. And looks like this right here is probably an ATM piece. I'm wanting to get a few of these. Well, here it is on a 45 degree two by two slope. One by four bricks. I got a Technic brick here with a plate on the back side. And one by six flat tile. We got some more of these one by four plates with the Two studs, a one by four plate, a one by eight plate. More of these two by two by two thirds plate with the two studs. We got plenty of these in here and Technic bricks and profile bricks with single grooves. I'm seeing a lot of these come in here. And what else? Here we got a wig, some plain black. We got a one by four by one wall element. Yeah, not too bad. Let's see what's in one of these little ones here. Like I said, I'm always after rare exotic parts. You know, if you've watched me for a long time, you know what parts I'm really after in these sets. <laughs> so, okay, we got that nice bright yellow. And then the lime green. That's actually this Lego calls this yellowish green. This looks more like lime green. And some one by one by one and or two-thirds slopes, and then we have some one by two transparent light blue plates. One by two plate with two holders. And I think I mentioned this. You're gonna need a lot of these in a tutorial. Remember I said my tutorials are gonna get a bit aggressive for a bit. And some one by two 45 degree slopes. In fact, I could just talk about my, my future tutorials in here, nobody will even know. Very few people watch these. All right, and we got a corner one by two by two corner flat tile, corner angular flat tile. And we got one of these modern keyboards. I need to get these in black though. They do have them in black. And some one by two plates. We got some angular headlight bricks. And some of these sticks that take a 3.2 stick on the end. And that's pretty much it for that. And some one by one plates with the little top holder. Yeah. A lot of these parts in this one I kind of seen before. Just not in certain colors. And that's what I'm always looking for here. Now I was looking for a few of these in gray as a one by three jumper plate. But I already had enough in my collection. And wow, the motorcycle is actually gonna have metallic silver spokes. So we may have to 
poured up some of those and we got ourselves a little like a medical s symbol that's printed which is cool and I've seen these but I don't have a lot of these in this color one by two plate with stick I also have a couple of these one by two plates with handle and a baseball hat with ponytail out of the back and what it's not a fitted wow and it's got a curved brim too oh <laughs> and we got a computer monitor here what is that windows mac or linux doesn't look like a boom it doesn't look like an ubuntu distro and a regular yellow corner tile single-sided head and we got some some protective eyewear here one by three plates, another one of these little corner flat tiles. I like these. I'm starting to see these more. I like those. And some stick with holders, transparent black, one by one flat tiles. Yeah, so there's a few bits, little trinkets and stuff that I could use for mocks. Let's see what we have in bag three. And just by looking at the colors, this one doesn't look too exciting. It's just mostly white and gray. But we don't know. There may be some oddball trinkets in there. All right. I have a few of these, but I never really used them. One by four by one. Transparent blue wall elements. Be good for like a modern high rise. And a six by eight slope. This one's got a nice matted texture to it. You also got a six by six flat tile. Well, those are pretty close to the same size there. Must be for the ski jump. And 1x12 brick, 2x8 brick, 1x2x2 wall element. We get a few of those as well as this big slope. Some of these little... I don't even know what those are called. I need to look the name of those up. Hopefully before the build. We got some 1x8 plates, some more of these 1x4 bricks with the studs or plates whatever they're called and some of these two by three plates that have a stud removed out of them <laughs> I don't know I don't know what those would be used for I never use those special bracket pieces but they're always nice to kind of have when you need them and an inverted 25 degree slope two by six flat tile and a two by four by two thirds plate with bow one by three brick and one by eight flat tile. See what I mean? This one here has some pretty common stuff in here, except for the slope and the tile. But the rest of it, I, I've seen before. Okay, medium nougat corner tiles. I haven't seen those before. And then some one by two plates with top holder. A couple of foam bases. Some two by two by two thirds plate with bow. Some one by two by two thirds slopes. Oh, one by two plates. So yeah, this bag here, you know, it wasn't too exciting. Let's see what bag four has for us today. Okay, I do see some POIs, or part of interest, or piece of interest. And first thing is, is these. And black. I have a friend that wants to build a PC case in Lego. <laughs> I'm like, if you can get these in black, it'll look pretty good. Well, there they go. Great for ventilation or just making a, a ship or something. Four by eight plates. Got plenty of slopes in here, so you get some 25 degree and 18 degrees. Two by four bricks. And some more of these wall element pieces right here. I like these. I guess he's being used for like maybe a high rise or something like that, like maybe a balcony or something for something modern. Got some short minifigure legs and a torso. A nice jacket print on that too. Another torso. I like this winter stuff because I don't have a lot of winter coats and stuff in Lego. And some one by four Technic bricks. And let's see here, two by four flat tile, more slopes. So here's the deal. You need you want to make a snowy terrain. Okay. There you go. You got some of these here too. Two by two uh, medium nougat bricks. 
Looks like we're making three minifigures in here. And some one by two by two corner wall elements. Yes, I may be bumping into the camera a lot here because I got to move around. I'm getting kind of restless. And a wig piece. Some one by two bricks. And one of these ball things here. You'd see like on the top of a building or something, like a lightning rod. I don't have any of these. Maybe that wasn't like, an, a, like a globe or something. It'd be cool. Mm, got some white pants and stuff like that. Mostly just white pieces and a little bit of black thrown in there with it. But so far, I'm not seeing anything that's wowing me in, that, in this bag. So we're going to see how well this goes here. All right, some of these little noodle pieces in red that take the cross axle. Making sure that they do. You get four of those, probably for the inner tube. Got a little scarf piece, pretty cool, and some ice skates. And get enough of those, you can do an ice hockey rink. And a wig and a helmet. And sorry for the background noise. I said this in another video, but I'm in a business district, so lots of that out here. Single-sided, cross axles. Oh, maybe we were right. We got some hockey sticks right here. Or you can use them as golf clubs, too. But, well, <laughs> there we go. Get enough skates and have ourselves a mock right there. And we got some round one-by-one -one flat tiles. So this one's got a little bit of accessories that I could use. Let's see what's in here. Any more little goodies that I could use? Don't roll your head off. <laughs> That's uh, just a plain white one. Probably used for some decoration, like a snowman. Oh, she's got a two-sided head. And... Oh, usually sometimes he'll have a frowny face, but he didn't, doesn't this time. And we got a black bicycle helmet. And we got... Hey, if you need Jay the Surfer hair, there it is right there. Medium nougat. And then we got some of these little snowshoes you'd walk on and some more of those one by two slopes and some brown carrot tops, transparent light blue one by two wall element, brick with holder, a brick with two opposing studs, and looks like that's a skirt. Uh, at least it's not one of those fabric ones I have to fight with, huh? And one of these little weird Technic piece with the 3.2 shaft. So yeah, you know, this bag here did have a few items of interest. Well, let's move on to bag five and see if there's any more hidden goodies in this one. So far, this is going to be a very interesting build. Just by looking at all the parts and stuff in here. Just get right in and get our hands through and dive right on in. So we got some more of these... 1 by 4 by 6 or 2 by 4 by 6 door frames. You can use them for windows too. They're pretty deep, but you can still use them for that. And I've got some more transparent blue pieces. So far, these look pretty good. Let's see about the rest of them here. And yeah, they're squeaky clean too. Here's a door. I still wish they'd put this stuff in one of these bags here and put this little stuff in there. But that's how Lego does it, I guess. Okay, we already looked at all those. And then we've got another jacket print. So this one's got some pretty interesting torsos so far. And I know some people don't like the generic minifigures, but to me, I don't have to memorize any names. <laughs> Not like a Disney set or something like that. Or Harry Potter, when I have to memorize names and a couple of two by six plates and this little base that likes rolling off and get some more of these brick yellow one by two brick with seagull groove. A couple more of these. We've seen those before. And yeah, by the time I go through this unboxing, you notice how everything now we've seen. So I don't really need to cover them as much. It goes faster as we go. But you do get plenty of these two by two by two thirds. Break with the two studs, uh, dark blue pants. Yeah, I mean, it's stuff we've already seen before. 
I'm just looking for some really oddball stuff in here. Oddball colors are always welcomed. And hollow studs. Oh, I got a flat tile there and a coral bicycle helmet. Great for a sewing thimble, too. And then I need some more of these plant pieces. And with the little, I think it's a 1.8 hole in the top. And two by two plates, some more corner tiles. There's a transparent black one by one tile and a uh, silver metallic mug. And ooh, this is printed. Wow. So this set is gonna be worth about $120 because everything's getting to be printed. I wish it was all printed though. I don't mind coughing up money, guys and gals, for printed stuff. See, here's a transparent clear mug with that too. So, that's well, maybe for a coffee shop or a souvenir shop. And some Angler headlight bricks and some round tiles. And is this a milk piece? Yep, there's another printed stuff there for the milk carton. All right. Now, don't be rolling your head around. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got to have fun doing these. I know some take it serious, but I like to mess around with them going through this stuff here. Okay, two by two jumper plates. Some more slopes. One by two plates. There's some more corner tiles. And there's the top for the milk carton there. I like to get a few of those. And one of these little minifigure accessory things you put through the head. And yeah, that's pretty much what it is for bag five. Not too bad. Let's see what we have in bag six. This one doesn't look like it has a whole lot, so... There we go. Jay, you toss all those bags on the floor? You betcha I do. Okay, some more of these slopes. And a tile. Matter of fact, this looks like a repeat from one of those other bags that I've done. I got these corner... Are these modified 2x3 plates, some of these, and 1x12 brick. Yeah, we've already seen everything in here, so this is going to be a quick one here. So you get a couple of slopes, 2x6 flat tile. Yeah, we've already seen all these parts before. When I see duplicates, it's got me worried. I hope Lego didn't send me like an, a wrong numbered bag, but I don't think they're that sloppy. 2x2x2 <laughs> thirds plate. Got a couple of those, some more of these corner tiles, and one by two plates of top holder, one by two plates, foam bases. Yeah, the same old stuff. Well, let's see if bag seven is a duplicate. One I can tell, it's hard to say in the bag. Well, obviously, we get a lot of, I'm going to be honest, from what I've seen so far, we get a lot of medium to big pieces in here with some small stuff, but this one's mostly medium to big, and ooh, <laughs> uh, 1 by 16 medium nougat brick. Oh, I hope there's more in there. We got some 1 by 8s. We have to make a house with those, huh? I'm getting a lot of those. And one of these little pieces here. Oh, and we got a rebar with it, too. This is meant just to fit in here, and you can just do that. So you can see, I'll show you. It's meant to kind of spiral in there. I hope you get more of those in there. I can always use the rebar to reinforce my foundations for my houses. One by two by five column bricks, one by four bricks, two by four 45 degree slope, one by four by six frame. Here's some glass pieces. These are pretty good. And we got a couple of 4x4 four four frames with a 2x2 two two cutout. I'm starting to see a lot of these 1x6x6 one by six by six frames. Okay, well that glass obviously. This glass, somebody asked me, does it fit in here? Yes, it will fit in here. Like that. But it doesn't close all the way. And one of these little containers. One by four by three window frame, mountain piece with something stuck inside. I don't really ever use these, but they're cool. And some one by eight bricks, two by eight brick, and corner bricks. One of these 
one by two by one and two thirds brick with uh, four studs. I'm getting a couple of these two by two bricks or two by two plates with the two studs on the side. Yes, I'm starting to see a lot of common pieces at this point, but stuff that I don't really have a lot of, but if you notice, it's all big bricks. So I think this set's gonna be worth its price just by going through the parts. As long as it's not full of one by one plates and tiles, we're fine. And some one by four plates in that lime green color. Okay, we got some sand green, one by one by one by two upwards angler plates. You get three in that bag. No, I'm sorry, we get four in there. I can always use those snot plates for all sorts of stuff. Technic bricks and one by two, 45 degree slopes. Some one by one bricks with the one stud on the side. And we got a couple of downwards, one by one by one by two angler plates. And some random one by four flat tile. That's white that's thrown in there. And yeah, that's too bad. Lots of big pieces in this set. Lots of goodies. Lots of building bricks. I do get questions asked. I should do alternative models. I should. All right, we get some nice um, light green round one by one flat tiles, probably for when the kids throw the snot everywhere or slime balls or something. I don't know. <laughs> one by two flat tiles. More of these one by four plates with the two studs. Got some keypads here. Pull those out so you can take a better look at those. With the metallic keys and one by two plates. And I need these in wide or something like that. These are like one by two by two corner plate with bow. Oh, we get a couple of them too. Not sure what you'd use them for in here, but there they are. And some Technic pins and cross axles. One by two plates and some one by one flat tiles. Yeah, not too bad. Let's see what contents are in bag eight. We're almost done too. There's only uh, 10 bags in this. All right, this one's got some more medium nougat goodies. Medium nougat one by 16 bricks. And some more window frames, more rebar pieces, cool. We get a couple more in there, that's two more. We get three in total. More of these frames. One by eight brick. Plenty of these one by two by five column bricks. I don't really use these for really anything. And some one by eight bricks. So this one's got a lot of bricks. I mean, these are building bricks. I always get questions asked, you know, where do you get your building bricks? Well, there you go, right there. One by four brick, and we got a one by four brick with four studs, two by two bricks, and oh, this is in uh, this is medium nougat. I need this in uh, sand yellow, but a eight by eight plate, and I got some wall pieces too, and two by eight brick, and another one of these little mountain pieces. Okay, not too bad, not too bad at all. And it's in a little bag here. It looks like it's getting me really common stuff. At this point, get some more slopes and some more tiles, corner plates. Whoa, where are you going? Two by two plates, one by one bricks, 45 degree one by two slopes, nose cones, cross axles, jumper plates. So that's pretty much what there is in that one. Okay, it looks like bag nine is almost the same as bag eight. At least it's parts that I don't have a lot of that's pretty cool. All right, so we got more window frames. You've seen those a million times. Get that out of there. We'll look at that in a second. Medium nougat and white 8x8 eight eight plates. Corner plates. Another mountain piece. More rebar. <laughs> I don't know, or you can call it like a piece of liquid too, if it was red. And those are pretty sharp at those corners. Yikes, you can get cut on that. Plenty of 1x8 bricks. Good building pieces right here. 1x2x5 column bricks. Some 1x6 plates. Here's some glass pieces here. Yeah. Boy, this one here really is kind of really scratched. Like right there, it's just really just diffused. 
Okay, well, that's been a while since we've seen anything scuffed in here. This one here is not any better. I want to say some bad words, but look at that right by my finger right there. I mean, that is deep. And it's just literally scuffed. I thought it was dust on there. No, these are just... I'm going to say it. These are trashed. And I got some of these little doors. Cupboard doors. Pretty cool. And yes, I do ding off points for scratched pieces. I mean, they're, I mean, literally just scuffed. And we got some 1x4x3 frames, 2x2 two two bricks, 1x3 bricks. I need a lot more 1x3 bricks. And Ray, I got plenty of them, but just that's an odd size. I don't really have a lot. 1x2 and 1x4 bricks, I have a lot of, but 1x3 bricks, it just kind of scares for me. Then we have some 1x2 bricks, 1x1 one one bricks, 2x2 two two plates. Oh, a downwards tooth with the stud on top. And a cross axle and some 45 degree 1x2 one slopes. Not too bad except for the scuffed up pieces. And we have bag 10. This is the last of the bags. Now this one's got a bunch of different stuff than we normally see. So maybe this is the bag that finishes things off and the first thing that catches my eye are these pieces right here. Move that out of the way. And if you're building an eight stud wide airplane, that's what you'd use. I would need a bunch of those to make an airplane and we got a nice flame yellowish orange snow uh, snowboard. Some more of these right here. Let's see how bad these are. Yeah, pretty good. Alright, and some skis, there's another one of these, those are in medium azure, and we got ourselves a nice, oh this has got the studs on, this is that neon yellow cord with the studs, that'd make a great a little extension cord when you're going camping, huh, for a camper, there we go right there, have to get a couple of those, hopefully they have them, on, have them for sale, and some 1x8 black bricks, and some white rims, tire that goes in there. Now one thing I gotta say though is Lego's doing away with the tying the knot stuff. So basically what you do is you attach this here and then you wrap your string around it. And I like that a lot better than tying those knots because sometimes the knots would just come on it would come undone. I just take a little bit of of like wood glue and just glue the string in there. So I can easily remove it from the brick if I need to. And we got some uh, four by six modified plates with the studs on three sides. And a four by four frame with a cutout and some angular wedge plates, round plates, two by six plate, plates, 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 more plates, flat tiles, arches, and bows. Hey, hey, if you need to make a propane tank, here we are right here in black. Some of you said you like the multicolored ones, so there you go with the Technic holes, round two by two brick, and we got an upwards one by two by one by two angler plate, and some flat two by four tiles, and one by six and stuff. And let's open up the last bag here. This one's got a lot of little stuff, so lots of little pieces in this one here that don't want to come out. All right, and we got plenty of these little one by one plates with the 3.2 stick so obviously this is going to be used for the rock climbing wall got ourselves a little unicorn horn piece two by two flat tiles some more of these corner tiles number two one by two rounded plate or number one one by two rounded plates there's just so many different types of plates now i can't keep up with them and some round one by one flat tiles and transparent red friction pins, one by two by two thirds slopes. Some of these broken two by two plates with the bow. I don't know their official name, but they have a point on them. And we got another ski pole and that's in dark stone gray. And there's one of these Green round one by one flat tiles, and yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So we're going to take into account of all the bags here. And the first thing I've noticed is a lot of big pieces. Lots of big, medium, and large pieces in this build. So I think it's going to be a really fun set to put together, as well as using this for other mocks and stuff. And I think the minifigures look pretty cool from what I can tell with the torsos. And I think you're getting your value for your buck in this set. I think a hundred and... $19.99 for, what is it, 1,045 bricks? That's not too bad, especially for what you're getting. Well, I can't judge the set based off the parts alone, so I have to build, build it, mess around with it, and then we can review it, but we'll save that for another video. So tell me what you think of the parts in the set. I see pieces that I could use, 